Hello, and welcome to our washable, reusable COVID-19 cloth face mask sewing instructional video, where we show you how to create a face mask to the standards and guidelines recently provided by the Victorian State Government. You can download the instructions in the video description below or from Victoria State Government Health and Human Services website. To make this cloth mask, you will need 100% cotton fabric, 100% polyester fabric, and a fabric that is a cotton polyester blend or cotton polypropylene blend some elastic, a pair of scissors, a ruler or tape measure, some pins, a safety pin, and either a needle and thread or a sewing machine. You can use our sewing machine at Tamworth City Library if you don't have one at home, but you will need to know how to use one yourself due to social distancing requirements. Now to cut your three fabrics. You need to cut them into 25 centimetre by 25 centimetre squares. I've made a template 25 centimetres by 25 centimetres. It just makes it easier to cut out. You don't have to measure everything. And you just run, your, run a pen, pencil down the side of the material and you can just cut it out. This is the cotton. This one is a poly cotton. Poly cotton, some clothes. If you look at the label, we'll have poly cotton in them. And this one is a polyester. 100% polyester is the hardest one to find. Mm. And they, you can get them in multi-colours, you can get them in bright colours. And I'm going to use the material to help me this time because I haven't got um, a pen that would show up on this material. And this is the one that's going to be on the outside so people are going to see it the most. Yeah, and if you can, if you can get some nice material to go on the outside, it looks really good. Stack your squares with polyester on the bottom, then the mixed fabric, and the cotton on top. There we go. Now we pin this one centimetre on either end. That's what the instructions say. If you pin your pins vertically, you can sew over them on the sewing machine. That's a great tip. Yeah. Now, either hand stitch or use a sewing machine to sew the material along the fold. Sew both folds in the same way. Then remove all of the pins. One point five centimeters. One point close enough to one point five. And then you do the same on the other side. This time when you sew the folds, be certain to sew near the edge of the fold, as we are creating a tunnel for the elastic to be threaded through later. Again, sew both these 1.5 centimetre folds the same way, then remove all of the pins. Now all we have to do is put the elastic in and it's finished. Now with the elastic, it says 20 centimetres. Somebody with a big head like me, and I have a hearing aid and a pair of glasses, I need more than 20 centimetres, and I think I, I need 30. So it's, it's, it's a case of, I cut the 30, and if I need less, that's the way to go. You can always cut more off, you can't add. Absolutely. So that's my motto. I'll just get the elastic and the safety pin, and then we just thread it. Pin the end of this onto here. So it doesn't go all the way through and out the other side. I'll have to redo it. Yep. And don't do what I did yesterday and ran it through about three times. And the safety pin's to give you something to grip onto and find inside. Yep, that makes it easy. And then it says to knot it, or what you could do is stitch it together, and I think probably we'll just knot it. Do you have a name for your knot? It's just a knot. Then pin your second piece of elastic down by the entrance to the second fold. Attach the safety pin to the elastic and feed it through as before. Tie it together as before. There we are, made. Your mask is now complete. 
Before you put it on, give the elastic a pull and bunch the material up. Do this to both sides, this will help the fit. Wear the polyester layer on the outside. Loop the elastic over your ears with a mask going under your chin and tightly covering your nose and mouth. Make sure it is form fitting to your face at the sides. You may need to pull or retie your elastic to fit. We hope you found this video useful. If you don't know how to sew or cannot get hold of all the materials, watch out for future videos where we show you how to make masks when you don't have all the recommended tools or materials. Thank you.